Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Maths Key Skill video on translating a shape. Now recall from the video on describing a translation that a translation is when the shape moves without getting bigger or smaller or flipping over or rotating. It's exactly the same shape, the same way up and the same side. It's just shifted across the coordinate axes. And just to recap how we actually describe it, we have to describe what that movement is. Now if we pick some point on the original shape A and then we pick the equivalent point on the resultant shape, the image, I've picked the right angle in each case, then can you see that it's moving this left and this up? And the way we give that as a vector is we say what's happening to the x value and what's happening to the y value. Now can you see the x values decreasing from 2 to minus 4? So we can see the x value is decreasing by 6 and the y value from here to here is going up from 1 to a y value of 2. So the y value is increasing by 1. And we can describe this movement using something called a vector. A vector is something we use to describe movement. And it looks like a coordinate, but it's kind of tall rather than long. So we have two numbers on top of each other. And the top number is the change in x. And the bottom number is the change in y. So we can see the x value is changing by minus 6 and the y value is changing by 1. You need to get those signs right. Now I've got a new vector here. We've got 2 minus 4 and we want to translate this shape A here. Well, if we just use this same point again where the right angle is, but it doesn't matter if you use another point, you could use the top if you wish, it's saying that the x value is changing by 2. So the x value is increasing by 2. So the x value is going from here to here. And then the y value is decreasing by 4. So the y value is going down by 4. So 1, 2, 3, 4. And it's ending up here. So that's plus 2 and minus 4. So if the right angle is here, we can then draw the rest of the shape. Because look, the shape goes right one square from here. And it also goes 2 up from there as well. So 2 up. And then we can draw the rest of the shape. And it wants us to label it C, which I will do.